Today is an empty travel day. I am flying from Cincinnati, Ohio to Charleston, South Carolina, where I'm going to pick up my next passengers. Cincinnati has a sense of humor, if you didn't know, and they also have a lot of history, which you can see displayed here at the airport. I'm gonna get myself some breakfast and I'll see you on the other side. Uh. Yeah. This will be my first time flying into the Charleston airport and wow it is beautiful from the sky and they have a military air force base here one of the perks of traveling empty is that you get to stop and see the sights a little bit so I'm gonna pull over to this little coffee shop and see what it's all about it was jam-packed full of canned fruits and vegetables it's a nice little spot for a bathroom break if you need it. And I also got this beautiful little cappuccino and they put one small pump of pumpkin spice in there. It was perfect. All right, I'm gonna check into my hotel and then pick up these bunnies first thing tomorrow morning in Savannah, Georgia. Let's go pick up my next furry friends today. Aren't they the sweetest? I travel for this breeder quite often. They come from a breeder in South Carolina called Lavender Lops. And she always loads me up with lots of goodies for our trip and their paperwork. And then we're ready to send lots of pictures to their family to let them know we're on our way. Yeah. My bunny friends here, uh, we're in Charleston, South Carolina right now. I picked them up in Savannah, Georgia, and we are going to fly one of them to Boise, one of them is going to Colorado, and the other is going to Dallas. So we got a couple day adventure just to get all these bunnies home. tell these bunnies apart because they have their names written inside their ears. Usually their markings will also be an indicator which bunny belongs to which owner. I picked up these packing cubes from TJ Maxx and they just helped me pack all of the bunny hay and food and their bedding. That way I can easily put it into my backpack or my suitcase as we travel. are a little bit sensitive they are a lot of fun to travel with and pretty easy we just have to make sure they always have hay and water and then they're good to go bunnies can fly on Alaska Airlines Frontier and Spirit so that's why we had to drive a little bit to the Charleston Airport in order to find the best flights today
This was a six hour flight to Seattle, but the buns are doing great. They've got water and hay, and they're all pretty active. Loves, loves, loves. When you are driving cross country, Loves has the best coffee. And if you bring your own mug, it's usually free. Although I don't have mine because I flew here, so. Ooh, that's hot. So I have two bunnies left. We delivered this sweet little bun in Boise, Idaho late last night and I picked up a rental car. Now I've got two other bunnies. We're driving one to Grand Junction, Colorado today and then we'll drive to Denver and fly the last one to Dallas. I know it's kind of a weird trip the way it worked out, but I kind of base my trips off of who books me first. And so this Idaho bunny picked me first and then we added the other two on. And this family in Colorado is not really close to a major airport. So we decided to drive and I don't mind it. It's kind of a nice way to break up the trip. Plus, I needed to pick up a car anyway because I have a bigger dog driving back with me to California. And Boise just happened to have a lot of rental cars that they allow one-way rentals for. So it's, um, it's a fun Tetris game, figuring out the logistics of how to get from here to there to here to there. stopping at a rest area so that I can stretch and take a bathroom break and also give these bunnies some playtime. I love to bring along this pop-up tent. It can fit into my carry-on suitcase and then I can use it as needed. And for these buns it just allows them to spread out, um, to have a clean place to play and to eat some food and drink some water before we continue on our journey. Let's go to the Denver airport this morning. They must have known we were coming and saved us a spot. These are the security lines on the north wing and they always look really full, but they move pretty quickly. I've never spent more than 10 minutes inside of the TSA pre-check lines. And finally, our final bun, Spooky has made it home to Dallas and I am on my way back to Denver where I'm gonna get a hotel room, have a good meal, and then I have a day off tomorrow. And I'd love to show you how we spend a day off and prepare for my next adventures. See you in the sky.